Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. I'm Brad. I'm Miguel, guys. And this is our trailer reaction to James Gunn's Suicide Squad trailer. I'm interested to see how I feel about this trailer because I was kind of in the minority. I enjoyed the first Suicide Squad movie. It was a little campy. It had some real kind of odd, strange moments where it felt a little kooky and quirky, but I enjoyed it for the most part. What did you think of the first Suicide Squad film? I thought it was all right. It was a good side movie to my, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it had nothing to do with the entire DCU universe. Yeah. Not really. Almost nothing other than the fact that, oh, uh, what's her name? Amanda Waller met yep. Batman. Mm -hmm. That was really anything I connected to. Yeah. And probably a couple of quotes here and there. But other than that, it was like its own movie. Yeah. It was and still I, good. It was, like, I enjoy it. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite DCEU movies. Um, I, it, I, it, I think it was just fun. And I think with Suicide Squad, they can do that. They can just kind of have some some rated R fun. And I think that works for Suicide Squad, you know? I mean, yeah, the title is Suicide Squad. Almost every single one of them dies. Yeah, that's fair. So, like Boomerang, who died, he had like five scenes and then he was dead. No, <laughs> you're, Boomerang, um, you're talking about uh, I know. Slipknot. Sli yes, 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 yes. Yeah, which mm -hmm. I'm almost certain that's how it is. Like, have you seen the posters of it? I have. It, said, it literally says, don't get attacked, because literally half yeah. of them are going to die. That's how it well, goes. Well, and you know, I really enjoyed Har um, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. She was great. Um, and then, you know, I Jared Leto as the Joker was fine. I didn't like the creative choice to give him all the tattoos and the, the clothes he was wearing. I thought that was kind of strange. It was, it was, it was psycho, it was but in place. a weird way. Yeah, it felt very out of place. Mm -hmm. um, but let's hop in. Let's check this thing out. All right. All right, here we go. The Suicide Squad. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Go. Restricted. Ooh, red band. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. <laughs> this cast is gonna be no, fucking no, hilarious. I'm not gonna retell the camera trees there. Team two is clear to go. Fire. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? Oh crap! No, That's, well, I didn't even realize who that was. Gonna save me? It was a really good plan too. Well, I can go back inside, and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry, Harley Quinn. Blood sport. Why does Rick Flag sound? The... Why I don't know. He he, he looks way different. He looks like yeah. he's one of them. Successfully complete the mission, you get ten years off your sentence. I forget Pete Davis is in this. What the fuck is that? Ugh. You to follow my orders in any way? Oh, that's Definitely Michael Rooker. Damn, he didn't look the same. No. Can do the job so this is the famous Suicide Squad. This almost looks like a reboot. All these people are gonna die, you know that, right? Yeah. I can just tell. Kib. Nom, nom. That's Any funny. <laughs> and. Yes. That is your hand. Is Very it just good. me or does John Cena look super out of place? Die. Very. I hope so. You know who voices so King Shark, sense. right? He said, I hope so. We failed the mission. Oh my God. Die. We find out any information. Who voices you Shark? You die. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember die. seeing that now. If you cough without covering your mouth. Even Harley looks so a little bit different. For you yeah. I dig it though. What's the plan? How yeah, Ric Flair looks way different. He's not in his military getup. You should eat mm -hmm. a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, and somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone put penises all over the beach? Who knows why madmen do what they do? <laughs> that came out of his mouth. Okay. What the hell? This is suicide. Oh, well, that's kind of our thing. It looks fun. I will say it looks super fun. You got it? I did. Don't worry, eh? I'm gonna get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Oh my god! 
I love how King Shark is just non. Dude, Patrick Star. I tied you up in this shit. Bro, Patrick Star is in this movie. That's funny. It's a stack. Stacked cash. It is a right stacked there. cash. I will say that. Hmm. That looks fun as hell, man. I get the same vibes as I did the the first movie, and that's. I think that's a good thing. That yeah. makes me excited because I think. I don't know. I was a little disappointed that we weren't going to get all of the same characters as the first film, but I think it'll be. I think I'll be okay with it now that I I see it and I see um, the the vibe they're going for. I'll, who are, I'll be who are, okay who are we missing? We're missing Diablo, mm -hmm. Deadshot. And, yeah, I'll be missing uh, Deadshot. I read that they purposely did not cast someone else as Deadshot so that Will Smith could return in the future like in a future dceu movie that's fine i don't know how I think much truth there is to that i think will smith was fantastic in that i love will smith he was. um i thought he was fantastic in that role but really I, I think it looks fun i'm excited i agree and the fact that uh i don't know it's just the way they act around each other it's more i know you said you didn't like the kookiness of it but i mean this looks kooky as fuck Oh, no, I, right I did like, I appreciated the kookiness in that movie. Um, and I know, you know, part of what we'll talk about in episode 15 is, um, you know, that David Ayer had a much different, he, he David Ayer, um, his original intention was to make it more like Zack Snyder's Justice League, where it was a darker, more serious take on the Suicide Squad. And of course, Warner Brothers, trying to copy Marvel, but I didn't say that. Um, tried to make it funny and kind of joking and trying to make fun out of it. Yeah. And I think now it did not work for, Su or for Justice League. For Suicide Squad, I think you can have a little bit more play in how serious it is. You can... Yeah, because they're fucking criminals. I, so. I really didn't have a problem with Suicide Squad. I didn't. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. And I think this one will be fun too. I Plus, James Gunn fun. is in. James Gunn is directing this, and yeah. he I love he him, man. Well. He's a he very good well. director. Mm -hmm. I get the awesome. same. His movies all have the same comedy undertones. Just like you know, I mean, look at both Guardians of the Galaxy movies. They're hilarious, but they, they also have a serious storyline and plot too, um, with serious characters. But I'm excited, man. I think this will be a fun one. Same. So we'll see. We will see. And I'm curious to see how it connects to the greater DCEU. Oh, um, God, guys, I'm not ready for that. I know, right? Uh, this is going to do it for our uh, Suicide Squad trailer reaction. Be sure to check out episode 15, where we are talking the future of the DCEU host, Zack Snyder's Justice League. New episodes of Let's Talk Movies drop at 8 p.m. on Monday evenings, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at We Talk The Movies. Let us know what you thought of James Gunn's The Suicide Squad trailer. We will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Peace.